Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Clinton Jones and you're here to learn a very important compositing technique when trying to color match different pieces of footage together. Now this is especially important for colorblind VFX artists such as myself. Now when I was in elementary school, Top Gun was my favorite movie and I wanted to be a jet fighter pilot, but the nurse pulled me aside and said, hey, you're colorblind, go home. And uh, I had to decide what am I gonna do with my life? And I decided to get into filmmaking, which actually kind of worked out because I could just fake being a fighter pilot. So I am red green deficient and blues are a little violet to me, which basically means I can't see any of these numbers hidden inside of these images. Now if you can't see the numbers either, then you might be colorblind too. Uh, take a test at some point, but we're here to to figure out a way over that hurdle when it comes to color matching different pieces of footage, different assets, different plates together to make them look like they blend and live together in the same shot. Big thanks to Parsec for sponsoring this video. Stick around to the end to figure out how you can remote log into your workstation from anywhere in the world. Now let's get started. All right, so we got Sheila Beef in my living room. You guys have seen the footage before. It's green screen footage, so I pulled the key I tracked him into the living room. I even added a little shadow on the back wall here, but that's not why you guys are here. Uh, we're here to color match him to the actual footage. So all I'm gonna do is just apply a levels effect to his layer. He looks a little washed out, and I think he looks a little blue, but that's just, that's just me guessing after all these years of color correcting footage like this. Um, so, in the levels effect under channel, let's go ahead and change that to red. All right, so we're just adjusting the the red channel so it doesn't behave normally like when you're in the RGB version of levels. So we'll switch to red and I'm going to take this little button right here and I'll toggle red. So now I'm only viewing the red channel on our footage. So basically, I'm gonna go through each channel and color correct in black and white. All right, so I'm just gonna match this up. I'm seeing that the black border of this picture frame is a little bit darker than his black shirt or this dark shadow down here on his pants. So I'm going to make that adjustment so it looks about right. And what we can do as well is up here in the top right under the info tab, you have HSB, hue, saturation, and brightness. So we can reference the brightness of that uh, picture frame with 13%. We can go down to the shadow, 7%, so it's maybe a little dark, come up. And I think his skin is a little bright, so we'll bring that down just a little bit, maybe somewhere in there. So next we'll move on to the green channel, okay? So you have to make sure that you switch over to the green channel in the levels as well. Now let's make those adjustments. Again, the picture frame, it's a little too dark um, compared to uh, Shia's like shadows and stuff, so I'm gonna crunch that down, but not too much. That feels about right. Now his skin is probably somewhere in there. And you just wanna make it seem uh, like he fits. Like if it was a newspaper print, you wanna make it to seem like he actually fits into the environment in this black and white grayscale version. And finally, we'll go to the blue channel, switch it on the levels, now this always looks the weirdest because there's not really any blue in skin tone. So it's gonna feel a little funky, but you just gotta make it match the background. So we'll bring that down, bring that down a little bit more. And let's see what that looks like when we switch back to RGB. I think that's good. I mean, again, colorblind, can't really tell, but it feels better to me than the original. This is the original, and this is uh, the adjustments that we've made. Now you can always throw on like a hue and saturation and drop the saturation just a little bit if you feel that's necessary. Um, but another way of doing this is actually to have someone stand in who is a similar complexion, and you can actually uh, go through all those different modes, right, each channel, and match their skin tones. So that'd be another way of doing it. All right, I just wanna clear up two things. One, I do not see in black and white. That doesn't happen when you're colorblind. Actually, it's, it's very rare. It's extremely rare. It can happen, but the majority of the cases, it's not the case, all right? And second, no, 
red is not green, green is not red, color is not inverted for me. Um, I, I can actually drive. I can tell the difference between a red light and a green light. While I got you guys here, I just want to say a big thanks to our sponsor, Parsec, for making this possible. Parsec is a powerful remote access application that allows you to access your heavy duty computer from anywhere in the world. I use it to render on my work PC so I can keep working on other shots from home. Now the reason I think Parsec is a perfect sponsor for this video specifically is because Parsec Warp, their new service, actually has a 444 color mode. That means that every single pixel on your computer is a specific color. Every pixel is accounted for, so you're getting the most accurate and detailed color possible. I've been using this service actually before they reached out to me, so I think it's freaking awesome. And you actually get, with Parsec Warp, you get two monitors working at the same time. And not only that, it works with your tablet as well. And if you guys know, I use a tablet all the time. I don't own a mouse. So Parsec Warp is like, it's like heaven for me when I'm trying to get videos done at Corridor, but I'm working from home because of the, the pandemic, right? So go check it out. Parsec, it's actually free. Warp is only 10 bucks a month. My name is Clinton Jones. I am the Punisher. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. We're always learning and growing together. So I will see you guys.